Friday from Hanoi. It is a pretty warm day. Ooh, this street has some nice street food action. All right, this is a famous cafe. It is said that the founder of Xiang Cafe invented egg coffee in 1946. Milk was in short supply at the time, so egg yolk was used as a substitute. Looks like they have family portraits on the wall. Xin chào! Okay, so we're gonna climb up some stairs. I'm gonna take this little corner. Egg with beer? There's even egg with rum and chocolate. I got egg coffee a couple times at different places. This is the first place where they put it in warm water. And the portion is quite small. Let's see how thick this foam is. You can never go wrong with egg coffee in Hanoi. I would definitely come back for the coffee, uh, but as for the atmosphere here, I was hoping there'd be more locals than tourists, but it's definitely like 99% tourists I'm seeing. It can be a great place to meet other travelers though. Hello there! It's my neighbor. They just took his table away and gave it to another customer. So I'm happy to share mine. Right, it turns out, Neko and I, we have a very similar itinerary. So we're joining our adventures today. We found a mini banh mi stall. And look at this, they're tiny. They're tiny little things. It's 5,000 Viet Dong. Nikhil, you're such a gentleman for getting this. 25 cents, baller. <laughs> oh, and she put it in the oven. And there's a little dog. Meow. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. Cheers! It's the cutest tasting banh mi I've ever had in my life. There's pork in there, there's some cilantro. And what she put on there was a spicy sauce. We enjoyed that banh mi so much, we would like another one. But we're gonna save our appetite to have other kind of street food. It's incredible how people could sleep on a motorcycle. <laughs> Look at how jumpy that small one is. <laughs> it's amazing how much they can put on their motorbikes. A passenger folds a bed in half and sandwiches it between him and the driver. Four men, one bike. Wow. How? Barbershop. Hi. Nicole is trying to say, I like your beard, but the other guy is saying, do you want to cut yours? Over a thousand years old, the Temple of Literature was built to honor Confucius. Years later, it became home to Vietnam's first university. Take a peek at a hundred thousand Viet Dong banknote you'll see the Temple of Literature inked on the back. There's a bunch of young people wearing caps and gowns. Looks to be a graduation. All these graduates have their own photographer. Legit. It's a selfie zone. Yeah. Selfie zone. <laughs> you know when you watch those kind of agent movies and they have to avoid the laser shots? It's kind of like when you're going through, walking through them. Photographer one, photographer two. So although we don't know these people, it feels very special to be here on this day and to be part of it, even though if it's indirect. Yeah, if you look closely, there's some dog prints. Dog prints over here, over here. Every couple of tiles is a dog print. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Definitely. So we gotta solve this. Oh, look at those babies. Wow, look at that. <gasps> what a beauty. It is so warm. If it was a really cold winter day, I just wanna hug it. It's one of the best things about Vietnam is they always have these little chairs so you can sit down and enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So simple but so tasty. It looks 
tastes like turmeric. Fresh. This lady was so kind. She gave us some bonus sweet potato. Seems like it's a different kind of sweet potato. It's not as juicy, but it is still delicious. Do you like the first sweet potato or the second one more? I think the first one was better. Yeah, I'm a bit partial, partial to the first one, but this is complimentary, so it's also good. Yeah, let's walk yeah, to that street. Fo M Tuk. Let's cross now before this crowd comes in. It's common in Vietnam for pedestrians to weave through oncoming vehicular traffic. Ooh, some kind of party going on. I think it's more like a wedding. Yeah, it does look like a wedding party. Tu Trang and Duk Tan. They're doing food photography. You want to do this? Snails? Yeah, maybe a portion of snails, yeah. Yeah, let's try a portion of snails. That was good. Kom Tam Tom. Vietnam. Have you had snails before? Uh, once. Maybe we sit here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. So this is the stall we're gonna get our food from. And we could choose snail and other assorted proteins. We didn't order that, but okay. <laughs> Not sure what this is, but we'll find out soon enough. Is, is that a blade? Ye, no, it's not a blade. It's like a spoon kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah, you scoop it out with that. How is it? <laughs> Nothing like it. That's what your face says. Nothing like it. You spear it. You pull it out. So you get a nice chunk of it. You made that look so easy. Thank you for doing the work for me. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of like a joint, like a cartilage. Like an oxtail. Chewy, but it's not hard to bite on. Okay, if you're wondering what this is, it's a door. So you say knock knock. And then it swings open. Ta da! You could have the snail meat all is by itself, but to make it extra tasty, without the sauce, the snail meat is bland, so definitely dip it into the swimming pool of flavor. This sauce is made of scallions, chili, and I'm guessing that's garlic as well. I think it's lemongrass too. Oh, lemongrass. It is so beautiful because you have all kinds of shapes. We have like long strips, we have circles. There's definitely ginger in that. Lots it is ginger. pungent. Whoa. There's a lot of friction in that texture. Okay, this tastes like it is pickled. The inside reminds me of a fig. Is that a sauce or a soup? Let's find out if this is a soup or a sauce. I want to say that's a soup. So it's putting the soup into our sauce. I guess that's the proper way of eating it. Oh, and now he's taking out all the ingredients from the sauce. How is it? Is it powerful? Powerful, but it's very good for the throat. Oh, when you're hurt and you eat that, it'll make you strong and well again. I have a already. Whoa! Yeah, it's nice. Definitely, if you have any ailments, you're gonna get better. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's an alarm clock. Yeah. Ooh, it's going to my ears. All that spice. That cost us. 110,000 Viet Dong and the sweet potato earlier was 20,000 Viet Dong. So this is a Wi-Fi cafe and they're playing some kind of soccer game. They just put a bunch of couches. We're gonna make a right onto No Hen. Oh, there's a lot of food options. Pig ears, chicken. We're looking for a bombing stall that has a lively fitting area with a lot of chairs. That looks proper, yeah? So she's going to be putting a little bit of all these ingredients. Ooh, that pan looks like... It's very textured pan. It looks like it's been through life. It's <laughs> seen a lot of experiences. <laughs> For one whole banh mi, it's 20,000 Viet Dong. Oh, look at that. It is Christmas in this bun. 
Cheers. Cheers. Holy moly. I love Vietnam. Wow. Holy moly was the right word for that. We have an egg in there, tomato, cilantro, a couple different kinds of meats. Chorizo, chicken. There's so many different kinds of flavor. This is 10 times better than a Subway sandwich. And it's cheaper than a Subway sandwich. 10 times cheaper. I don't know, man. This might be the best bomb me ever. Mm, that right there is called chow. It's like a rice porridge with um, fried bread. It's very filling. Doesn't the girl in the traditional dress looks like the V for Vendetta face? Uh-huh. I hope you guys enjoyed eating with us. And thank you for saying hello at the cafe, befriending me, and joining this food adventure. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I enjoyed it. Cheers. Good luck with the rest of your journey. Thanks. You too. Yeah. Enjoy. See you guys in the next travel vlog. Bye-bye. If you're wondering, what was my favorite food I ate today? It is hard to say. Even the sweet potato, it's simple, but it was so delicious. The balmy was unique in its own way. Okay, you know the sauce, that one with the snail? Wow, that, that's like Tabasco. It should be a worldwide bottle. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye-bye.